Hi, Speaker Cooper here. And did you know that there are 486 lights in the chamber ceiling? Or that the mahogany coat of arms that sits just above the chamber doors was actually carved by Korean Canadian artist Chan Chung. When the chamber first opened its doors, on November 30th, 1911, the legislature building itself was actually still under construction. So members of the second legislature and the many guests made their way up a temporary rickety staircase into this regal room to watch the throne speech that was delivered by Lieutenant Governor George Headley Vickers Bula. Bula made it known that this meeting was historically significant, given that the chamber would be built on the same site of the old council chamber of the Hudson Bay Company, which was the earliest form of government in Canada. Throne speeches even today are still delivered from that very same spot that the speaker occupies while presiding over the legislature. Interestingly, when Speaker Eldon Tanner took on his new role in 1936, the speaker's chair that was being built for him didn't actually arrive on time. So he presided over the assembly in a regular old office chair. That chair that was built for Speaker Tanner over 85 years ago still remains on the dais today. As we mark 110th anniversary of the chamber, please take a moment to learn more interesting facts, see some of the amazing artwork that can be found within the chamber walls, and you can do all of that at assembly.ab.ca.